to do is copy the gold 10 payload from the download. Using 7-zip to open it of course, and then you can extract the gold10.bin file to the root of a USB drive. That is formatted in SFAT or FAT3 to format. Simply copy the gold hand payload in there, and rename it to payload.bin. Also worth noting, that you need to have show file extensions on Windows Explorer, so you can actually see the .bin extension to make sure you're renaming it properly to payload.bin. And that is how you get the payload prepared. Then you just plug that USB drive into your PS4. Uh, so All then. you need to do is run the Blu-ray disc with the exploit on it. If you're using the official repo BD-Jailbreak Laps 1.2 or 1.1, hopefully 1.0, it should all be the same. Where you just have the payload on the USB and it will load that one. I'm using my IO version which also has the same payload logic. Even though it contains the older version of Gold 10 on the disc, it will prioritize the one on the USB and load that one first. I cannot say about other you know. Modified versions of the exploits that you might have got from other people. I have no idea how those ones are set up. If they'll just load the older one on the or disc. Or if they'll prioritize the USB. I'm not sure. But if you're using the official release from the developer. Eugene or you're using the AIO version that I released. It will load the one from the USB drive. So it applies the IO patch. And then it copies the USB payload to the hard drive. So that the next time you want to load this version of Gold 10. It will 10. just load it from the hard drive and that is good. And then as you can see there. It's now running Gold 10 to point 4. B18.6 and we have everything up and running. The only thing is we still have to manually close the displayer. At least this time until we can actually enable the feature. To auto close for the next time we load it. And that is us. So now that we have the jailbreak up and running on our console here, if I head into the golden settings, we've got the plugin settings. So you can see here we've got the enable plugins loader, and we now have not just the game patch plugin option, but also the AIO fix plugin is now an option in here as well now. They're grayed out at the moment, cause I don't have any plugins installed. But we also now have the ability to update the plugin archive, and we can update it from either the internet, from the official GitHub repo, or we can update it from a USB drive or the hard drive. If you have the plug stored on the USB drive in an update folder, or on the HDD in an update folder, in the data folder I presume, then you'll be able to install it locally from those locations, if you're keeping your console offline. But the easiest way of course is just the default internet option. If you're connected to the internet, you can update the plugins archive, and that will download all of the latest plugins. And then these plugins will now be available to enable. So you can enable the plugins and then enable whatever plugins you like want. Like the game patch plugin. Now, as for the IO fix plugin, you're generally not going to want to enable this in most cases. If you're using the Blu-ray exploit version 1.2 or higher, and an updated version of the IO fix is automatically applied when you load that exploit. So you don't want to have this enabled. Cause then you'd be applying the fix twice. And they're slightly different also. Even if you're using one of the older versions of the blu ray Version 1.0, 1.1 or 1.1b that does not automatically apply the fix. It's still not really recommended to use the golden plug-in version. Cause it's an outdated version. When you have the updated one from ABC. That you can load manually with a payload injector or with payload guest which I've done a video on. Which I will leave in the video description. So generally, it's not really recommended to use this. Technically you can enable this to apply the fix. On older versions of the Blu-ray exploit that don't apply the fix automatically. It will resolve most of the black screen and save corruption data. issues. But it's generally recommended to use the updated payload instead. Also the PS3 versions of the exploit through the web browser. They also apply the AIO fix now as well. So it's not necessary to enable this version. If you're using the latest web browser version of the exploit. So tube. that's the general idea there. So that's the new plugin settings that's been added. We also of course have in the settings the enable BD up auto kill. So we can enable this option. So it will automatically close the displayer after it's loaded. Gold 10 so as soon as gold 10 starts. The displayer will be killed so that you don't have to manually. You know close it yourself which is quite handy. And then there's also the option to enable the auto eject, so that gold 10 is loaded successfully and it closes the display. It will out. also eject the disc from your console. So that was of course down to personal preference. Whether you leave the disc in your console like I do, then you probably don't want to have this option enabled. Because every time you load the console, you're gonna want to have the disc in to reload the jailbreak. So for me I would not have this option enabled. But we'll go ahead and enable it anyway just to test it But obviously it here. if you're somebody, who doesn't keep then the you can in. enable that option to auto eject so now we'll just go ahead and restart the console and here. try and load the jailbreak and again. see if it automatically closes the disc player and injects the disc okay 
So here we go so we're gonna go ahead and run this again. Now of course if goal 10 doesn't run because the jailbreak fails it will not automatically close the displayer. But in this case it was successful and there we go wow. That was very fast. I was kind of expecting the notifications to pop up first and yep, it has actually ejected the disk from my console as well. And there we go. It has now closed and we now have gold 10 loaded successfully. So there we go so you don't have to wait in the displayer anymore. And then close the displayer once it's done it. Pretty much happens immediately as soon as a. Things are as soon as the jailbreak loads successfully. Then we get the player closed automatically. And we're back in the home page before we even get the golden notification appearing on screen. So that is pretty handy and you can see the disk has ejected. Because it's no longer showing up here. If I pop the disk back in again. You can see it is now loading back up so yeah. Pretty useful update there for gold 10. If you're using the Blu-ray exploit. Being able to automatically close it like just this. Just gets the exploit loaded a lot faster. More convenient and yeah. The auto disk eject is a nice bonus for those that want to use In that. my case again I would not be using that feature, but I'll definitely be using the auto close feature to get up and running with the exploit faster. And then also we've got the plugins downloader as well. So we can now download all the latest directly plugins. from within Gold 10. We can also do that with the cheats as well. And we've been able to do that for a while with the cheats. In the cheat settings on older versions. So you can now update the cheats and the plugins. So it's just the patches it seems we're missing at the then moment. Then we'd be able to do that entirely without requiring. You know an external homebrew application like the PS for Cheats Manager. Although to apply the patches you still need the PS for Cheats Manager. Which might be why it's not been added here. And of course there's also a new section of gold hand supporters. If you go into the about section, we now have gold hand supporters and this shows the top list of you know who's the highest donator to the project. So there's a whole list here that goes down showing all of the supporters of the people who are donating the most money to the project and are the biggest supporters. I'll also release an updated version of my all-in-one ESO where I'll update the golden payload on the disk to the latest version so that if you are loading it just from the disk you'll be able to get the latest payload on there but if you're again, using one of the older versions you can just again put it on a USB and it will load it from there and copy it to the hard and drive and then load that one in future from the hard drive so it's not necessary to update your ESO. So that's basically it for this Just one. a quick update on this new golden release. Definitely one of the better golden releases we've had with these new features added. So hope you guys enjoyed this video or found the information useful. If you useful. did please leave a like and subscribe and I'll once again see you guys.